So I'm cleaning out Bowser's tank. This thing's so stinky. So stinky. Man, look at that. Look at it. All that poop in there. Bowser. Now would you look at that? Whoa. So this is how I clean Bowser's tank. I have the dirt siphoning out into this big old trash can. Um, and then I just take a razor blade and I pretty much just push all that yuck, all that gut stuff into the water. I do a, a big full water change, um, just like this. I do this, I wanna say maybe once a month. Really, since Bowser is getting bigger, his poops are becoming bigger, so I'm having to do it uh, actually more than once a month now. So this is like the second time we've done this this month. Yeah, it's nasty. He gets nasty in here because he eats all types of prey. So his poops are massive, nasty. It sinks into this lava rock and makes a big old mess every time he goes down and you just move around so you'll see the finished product once we're done oh and we have a visitor today coming from alabama i'm gonna show you you're gonna see it dude can i get an autograph bro yeah <laughs> jeez dude you made the front page man my first time first time first time hey that's what's up, dog. Try to adjust this camera. Cool, cool. So, right, what you see right now is Bowser's enclosure, uh, his cube. Um, this is what has to happen when I clean him out. Um, yeah, it, this thing is heavy. Like, this is a big old, big, I think this is a 60 gallon. So what I'm doing is um, I am getting, well, scraping out, I'm scraping out all of this, um, this gunk here. You probably can't see it, but it's like all the algae and stuff like that. I'm just using a razor blade and making sure it's nice and secure. Um, but yeah, this is, I go to measures for my boy. You know what I mean? For my animals. Bowser, definitely. Go to measures for this boy. Make sure when people come to see him, they can actually see him. And not in, you know, like, um, bad conditions. I mean, y'all know we do the shows and stuff like that. But still, I like to see my man nice and comfortable. Woo, this thing, this cube is hot. This cube is real hot. All right, so after that, what I do, I just pump pump up the mister, turn it on a, a setting, a spray setting. And after everything is scraped off, I just spray it down and it all falls into this really nasty, nasty water that I have right here in this trash can. That's how you do it. What's the biggest snake you held so far? I, I, maybe like a full, I don't know. I honestly don't even know. This is probably it though, I ain't gonna lie to you. For real? Yeah, I would say I ain't held no bull or at least not like a full size bull yet. Yeah, this one, this will take the cake. He's going amazing. Put it in there a little bit so we can smell it. Gator Boy South, uh, came down here to Houston, meet my boy Sean, and I deal with, I do sort of the same thing as him, uh, focus on reptiles, and we just have our own ways of doing conservation. Just 
just trying to get him from going under there. Actually, I ain't going to let him go that way. You can come on this side. Go on this side. Let him. All right. Let's move it this. The reason I do underhand is because they can't bite behind their arms. So behind their elbows is a safe zone. Okay. They can anything... Under the armpits is safe. So again, I try to go under, slide, and behind the armpits. And so you can do this interaction right here a million times. Um, it's very important. I'm actually holding them wrong right now because these fingers in the bite zone. So I try to do two fingers, or well, he a little bigger. So you want to try to keep everything under. For a more restrictive way, you want more control over him. You move up the armpit, and you keep a finger on his neck, so you can kind of steer him. But this is how you want to hold him. You want to get control under the armpits, and you want him to lay. You don't want him to feel that he's being held. You don't want him to feel like he's restricted. <laughs> like very, very impressive, dude. Yeah, like you never you want you want him to submit on his own terms. Like him going in the corner and doing you know, they do this when they under stress. That's mm -hmm. that's the I give up, come help me, mom. When they do that, you you in a good spot. All the hissing and the snapping, mm -hmm. if you defensive, that's not the time. So that's why I was so shocked. Chad ain't never been bit, cause his can be doing all that and he goes straight in. Yeah. Oh, he been bit? Ah, oh, he lied to me. He didn't want to tell me that. <laughs> he told me he never been bit. He got, he got, I'm not just going to say he got bit plenty of times. Not by Blitz, but... Oh, if he got bit by Blitz, we'll, we'll no, that's see over. it. Yeah, yeah, we'll know that it's one. Over. Over. He won't be able to cover that one up. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's a, this is amazing right here, though. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's, it's just about reading them, man. Look at that. <laughs> you got. Alright, so, so, so I'm gonna sit him back down and reset. I'm gonna sit him back down. Because we want him as calm as possible. And so you just walk him off your hand like that. And so you wanna come from behind. You just start by lifting the tail slowly and working that other hand. Yep. Watch out. So when they get to doing that, you can reset it if you want. Yep. And turn around. So keep everything thin first. Keep two fingers. Because this in the strike zone. That thing in the strike. Which one? This one that's hanging up like this. Uh -huh. So bend, yeah, keep that one flat. And I just learned something today. I really appreciate it. No doubt, brother. And this is a tactic that I will be using when Nigel gets in his new enclosure. Yeah, he's gonna be. I'm glad you came out, man. Like I, oh, yeah, I actually for sure, learned bro. something. Bro. I'm, I'm gaining from it too. Yeah. Um, so which fingers? So this one is in the strike zone for sure. Okay. And so where should I put it? So the way I do, you can put slide the, the pointed finger mm -hmm. as far as far as possible have it on his throat so have a pointed finger on the throat the keep that one flat yeah put your pointer on his throat all right and put this one behind the armpit so this one you want pinky is that your pinky this one right here this one. yep behind the armpit okay let me see with this one and put oh you got your middle finger oh, you can use your middle you can use your middle put this one behind the armpit mm -hmm. and then so like put, a mini headlock 
Yeah, basically, basically, men and head lock. Okay. You hold them just like that. Okay. And if you want a more restrained, if he were to try to buck, yeah. you would put swap and put your put this one under this armpit. So you hold them like this. Uh, that won't change risky. I got you. Hold on, sit them back down. I ain't, I ain't saying you do that one. No, 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 I got that's a more comfort. What I was just showing you. Yeah. If he were to start bucking, mm -hmm. like right now, would be a good time to show you. It's like this, and like I said, keep everything directly up under. And this is yeah. full control. This, this is. If he were to tense up everything, you ain't got to worry about, you know, they like the hiss and yeah. they expand their stomachs. You ain't got to worry about it right so here in the armpits. Thumb and your my thumb and my, right? mm -hmm. you ain't got to worry about pissing them off more because when they try to swell up and you don't let them, they know they're being restrained. Okay. So you having it right here, he don't even notice that you got them, okay. but he know he can't move. Cool. And it's still the same technique, still got the tail. You just got it to where he more restrained. You control all everything upper. Dude, and this is so cool. what I was telling you with the uh, pointed finger, so you have your middle, you just swap these. So this is fully restrained. Okay. That's fully restrained. This is a more comp a more calm position. I know. He's the truth. <laughs> He's the truth, man. I definitely just learned something, man. Like I can't I can't wait to put him in his little stores and start using you know, using these tactics, man. Oh, yeah, and then with the name training, when you finally get, get them conditioned, yeah. man, you're going to love it. You're going you're gonna to really feel like a professional. That's fine. That's a defense bite. That you been bit before? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. it. You know a defense and yeah. a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you can go ahead and try that one. That's it. He on 10 right now, so... Yeah, yeah. I would just let them reset and then go about it. And by reset, just go about, yeah. And that's, so you want to, okay. look at that. Like, there you hey, go. I'm pro now, man. <laughs> this will be, be the moment I get bit though, right? Yeah, that'll, that'll be the one you get bit. So yeah, now you, you see, you see? Special guest yeah, right man. here, dog. <laughs> but dog game, all right? Hey man, it's been an honor to come here. You know, anytime you get to rekindle with one of your brothers that you meet online, man, it's always special. You know, this started as just like a social media interaction. And like, it, it's something a lot more, man. I really needed this. Um, you know, being in your element is one thing, but being in your element with family is a whole nother thing, man. So I encourage anybody to, you know, make it out here. Uh, my, what my boy Sean doing, man, it, it's great. It's great, and this is only the beginning. So, lock in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You need it. I ain't get this. It, it wouldn't be me.